how to lose 10 pounds in a month with exercise. Hey, are you ready to lose some weight and keep it off? And how does losing weight and seeing measurable results in 30 days sound to you? If you are prepared, let's do it, starting today. Pay attention because this video will guide you step by step to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. Setting a goal to lose 10 pounds within a single month might seem unreasonable and unachievable. But the truth is, this is entirely attainable if you are ready to dedicate yourself to a rigorous exercise regimen explicitly designed for rapid weight loss. The key to exercising to lose the largest number of pounds possible within a single month is approaching it with proper planning and monitoring. When you are trying to lose a significant amount of weight, it is tempting to exercise as vigorously as you can and as frequently as possible. However, fitness experts say that is not the most efficient way to go about it. If you want to use exercise for significant weight loss, start by computing your target heart rate during exercise. You can do this by subtracting your age from 220 to get your maximum heart rate. For example, a 35-year-old would have a maximum heart rate of 185 beats per minute BPM. To maximize the fat reduction and weight loss effects of your workout regimen, you should aim to maintain a pulse rate of about 70% of your maximum heart rate. In the case of the 35-year-old, that would be around 130 beats per minute. Exercising beyond that target heart rate zone will make it harder for your body to recover in time for your next workout session. It will not even give you significant additional fat loss benefits. Now that you know your target heart rate zone for exercise, find a way you can monitor your pulse rate easily and in a manner that will not be detrimental to your workout. The best way to do this is to get a heart rate monitor. Nevertheless, you can also monitor your pulse manually by placing two fingers on the inside of your wrist. Count the number of beats for 30 seconds and double the resulting number to get your pulse rate. If it falls below your target, you need to exercise more vigorously. If it goes beyond your target, you need to slow down or take more frequent breaks. Now that you know how to monitor your pulse rate to get the best weight loss effects from your workouts, you need to plan your exercises accordingly. Based on a study conducted by researchers from the University of New South Wales, the best way to exercise for weight loss is to regularly engage in high-intensity intermittent exercise, HIIE. This type of exercise will enable you to burn fat more quickly and have critical effects on your metabolism and insulin sensitivity, which leads to further weight loss. For an HIIE workout that will speed up your weight loss, do the following circuits in succession once in the morning and once again in the evening. Every exercise in the circuit should last 30 seconds. Repeat each circuit twice before moving on to the next. In between each circuit, make sure you monitor your pulse rate to ensure optimal performance. Circuit 1. Jumping Jacks Stand with your feet together and your arms straight down at your sides. Jump up and part your legs as you lift your arms over your head. Your feet should hit the floor in a wide stance. Alternate between the narrow and wide stance until your timer runs out. Push-ups. On a mat, lie facing down. Prop yourself up by extending your arms and keeping your palms flat on the mat and right beside your shoulders. Keep your toes tucked to hold your legs up. Keep your elbows close to your sides and slowly lower yourself down. Gather some strength from your chest as you lift yourself back up. Repeat this exercise until your timer runs out. Mountain Climbers Starting with a push-up position, keep your arms extended with your palms down and elbows locked straight. Use power from your core to keep you balanced. Bring your right knee towards your chest before quickly bringing it back to the starting position. Do the same with the left knee. Keep switching legs and try to go as fast as you can without compromising your form. Repeat as many times as you can until your timer runs out. Circuit 2. Step-ups 
find a chair that is sturdy enough to hold your weight. Stand in front of the chair with your feet around hip width apart and your hands resting at your waist. Step your right foot onto the chair, followed by your left foot. Step down with your right foot, followed by your left foot. Repeat until your timer runs out. Abdominal Crunch Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Hold your hands behind your head with your elbows pointing sideways. Activate your core to lift your body up to complete an abdominal crunch. Slowly lower your body back down. Repeat at a steady pace until your timer runs out. High Plank While facing down on a mat, Hold yourself up with your palms and toes. Make sure your feet are around hip width apart. Like a plank, keep your body as stiff and straight as you can. Do not let your hips sag down and make sure your butt is not raised towards the ceiling. Hold this position until your timer runs out. Circuit 3 Wide Squats Stand with your feet greater than hip width apart. Lower your butt to the ground so that your thighs are parallel to the floor, but your calves are perfectly straight. Go as low as you can without putting too much strain on your knees. Hold the position for a second before slowly coming back up to your original standing position. Repeat at a steady pace until your timer runs out. Tricep Dips Sit at the edge of a sturdy chair. Use both hands to grip the edge of the seat. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground in front of you. Slowly bend your elbows and knees to lower your butt towards the ground. Hold the lowest position for a second before extending your elbows and straightening your legs to lift your body. Repeat at a steady pace until your timer runs out. Forearm Plank Hold your body up with your forearms flat on the mat and around shoulder width apart on a mat. Your toes should be tucked under to hold your legs up. Keep your body as straight as you can. Like the high plank, your hips should neither sag to the ground nor be raised towards the ceiling. Hold your plank position until your timer runs out. Circuit 4 Burpees Stand with your arms at your sides and your feet around shoulder width apart. Bend your knees only to give you leverage to jump up as high as you can. When your feet hit the ground, quickly lower yourself down into a squat position. When you reach your lowest position, place your palms on the ground right by your heels. Kick your feet out so that you place yourself in a high plank position. Hold the high plank for two seconds before doing a push-up. To do this, lower your body by bending your elbows and then pushing it back up by straightening out your elbows. Jump your feet up to place them right behind your hands. Shift your weight and stand up to take you back to your original position. Practice doing the entire sequence smoothly until you have completed 30 seconds worth of burpees. Side Plank Left Lie on your left side and hold yourself up using your left forearm. Keep your left foot on the mat with your right foot resting on top of it. Your right arm should be resting along your side. Keep yourself as stiff as a plank and hold the position until your timer runs out. Side Plank Right Do the same side plank, but on your right side. To do this, you should lie on your right side and hold yourself up using your right forearm. Keep your right foot on the mat with the left foot resting on top of it. Your left arm should rest over your torso. Keep yourself as stiff as a plank and hold the position until your timer runs out. If you work out at optimum capacity and do the right type of exercise, there is no doubt that you can lose 10 pounds in a month. Also, you can achieve even better results if you support this workout regimen with a nutritious calorie-restricted diet. By combining diet and exercise, you will notice immediate fat-burning effects and an accelerated journey
towards your ideal weight. Here is the study reference we used to create this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share with your friends and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. If you want to be notified of our new uploads, do the following. New subscribers, click on the bell icon when you subscribe. Old subscribers, please turn on all your notifications.